yeah, I'm so glad I found that little hack of these like 15 grand bikes that you can pick up for like three grand. They present as brand new and they're just wicked. Like they blow some of the, you know, endurance bikes and that sort of thing out of the water. Hey, what's up guys, Harley here. Welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to do a quick video, uh, mainly for beginners um, on rim brake and disc brake. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there online I'm seeing that people are either in one camp or the other, or a lot of people have never actually ridden a rim brake bike, so they don't really know. And I just wanted to give some a bit of insight from my experiences and obviously um, try and help people that are probably a bit new to the sport who have never ridden rim and just to discuss what all the fuss is about and, and why there's some people firmly in the rim brake camp and some people are firmly in the disc brake camp. So guys, what it is, disc brakes actually stop better than a rim brake. Um, it's just a fact. Where the rim brake guys are coming from, where they say they don't like disc brakes a lot of the time, it's because of there's weight, there's also an aero disadvantage, but they can also be a little bit more dangerous because they're so responsive. So if you, like if a dog runs out across the road or pedestrian or you, what have you, and you quickly, um, you know, jam the brakes on, you can just go straight over the handlebars, whereas it's a lot harder to do that on a rim brake bike. Um, so that's one argument for it. With the rim brake bikes, they don't stop as well in the wet. So I've got both disc and rim, and I like both of them. Um, they serve a purpose for me, for, for um, one's an aero gain and one's lighter for climbing up hills. But I've got to say, if I'm on the road and, and you know a pedestrian, like I'm on a, um, the cycle path or what have you, and a pedestrian sort of moves and I've got to quickly brake or what have you, I would rather have a disc brake than a rim brake. What I've found with the aero bikes is the frames are, are much better now. They're quicker, they're faster because of all the technology that's gone into them. With but 300 metres to go, then Mark Cavendish hit the front. Biniam Grimai looking for space. Caleb Ewan came off the wheel of Cavendish, but take, took Arno Demar with him. Demar lunged for the line, and the two riders lunged side by side and did not know which of each other had won the stage. But they've got a disc brake on it, which sort of sacrifices a bit of that aero gain. So in an ideal world, what we'd want to have is the new aero bikes with a rim brake option. And that's where I think uh, they've dropped the ball a little bit because they've stopped doing that. Like for instance, the Canyon Aero, which I've got, which is my favorite bike, it's the quickest bike I've got. It's got disc brakes, but you could imagine what it would be like if you could have it in a rim. It'd just be that, you know, 300 grams lighter, plus it'd be even faster. So I just think that they're, you know, for the sake of, you know, getting those marginal gains and getting as much as you can out of, you know, every little percent of your, your cycling um, equipment, to not have an, uh, a rim brake option is you know, really not cool. The theory behind it is that the bike uh, manufacturers just want you to buy more parts. So you upgrade to a rim brake, you gotta pay for rotors, um, disc brake pads, all that sort of thing. Whereas uh, before all you had to do was worry about your rim brake um, brake pads. Uh, you know, and then over a really long period of time, maybe your rims because you wear the brake surface down. But um, look, I just wanted to throw my hat in the ring with it because I, I do see the benefits in both. I'm not firmly in one or the other, and I'll pick and choose. If I'm doing a race, I don't need disc brakes, okay? So um, we're not gonna be stopping really quickly or having to, you know, Usually we're not gonna be in the rain um, if, it's a, if it's a race, that sort of thing. So you want those aero gains where it's, it's lighter, plus it's actually um, better aerodynamically. And you can see that if you look at any Hambini or um, Peak Torque, or those guys have done the physics on it. So there's actually, it is actually a fact that rim brakes are faster. Um, but like if I'm, like I said, if I'm on the road and um, it's a busy place, I'd, I'd like to have disc brakes because I'm not going to be able to go super fast anyway, but I can still stop a bit quicker if I needed to. Okay guys, so just showing you the actual weights of the, uh, of the different uh, products, so you can actually see that it's legit, uh, you know, there is a weight saving with rim brake. So just to show you, this is the, uh, a brake caliper for a disc brake, so the, the actual disc will sit inside that and it clamps around it and that's what stops it. Now you need two of these, um, it's 141 grams uh, per caliper, so you've got two of those. 
Guys, while I've got you, please remember to like and subscribe and leave us a comment on whether you like rim or disc and if you've had the same experiences or maybe you've never ridden rim brakes before or um, you're firmly in one camp or the other. Let me know what you think. Um, I'd love to know, but um, yeah, appreciate it. Cheers. Then you've also got the rotor. Now, most rotors that come stock on bikes are 160. You can save a little bit of weight by going to a 140, but then you've got a smaller disc which gets hotter quicker. Um, and I don't know if you've seen, but um, if a disc brake gets super hot, it stops working completely. So um, a lot of the guys who are trying to save weight and they still have to use disc brakes will go to 140, like a lot of the guys that are um, sponsored and things like that, that they just have to use disc even though they don't want to. They'll go to a 140 uh, because it's a weight saving there. Uh, but in the real world, if you're using a 140, you just gotta be aware that they do heat up quicker. So um, if you're under a lot of braking, it can, if it gets super hot, it won't break at all and you can you've seen some crashes and that in the, the grand tours and that from that happening so look going back to the 160 they're 128 grams a piece now with those you're looking at um, just for disc brake so with the two uh, 160s 128 128 141 141 it's 538 grams just for the actual hardware that sits on the fork and you know um, the rear um, chain stay the seat stay so that's for disc when you go to rim, a rim caliper, and I'm using Ultegra for this, so it, it will vary for Durace, but I just thought Ultegra is more widely used, so I'm um, just do it for that, for this purpose. Um, so you're looking at a brake caliper, it's 182 for the front, and it's 178 for the rear, which is, it's 360 grams for the hardware for the rim brakes. So just in hardware, um, what's bolted onto the actual bike, is 178 grams lighter for rim. Don't forget then you've also got the metal um, brake pads uh, for the calipers on the uh, disc brake. And also you've got lines that are filled with liquid. So it can be somewhere between 300 and even up to 500 grams difference, I'm told. I, I reckon about 300 is probably where I would sit, but there is a weight saving there, okay? Now the difference is with when you've got um, a disc brake and um, a rim brake is because you've got a disc brake bolted onto the front of the of the actual bike and you've got, um, it takes up a lot of space. It's actually an aero loss um, in terms of aerodynamics. Now, if you've seen Peak Talk and Hambini, they've actually done, like I said before, they've done the physics on it. So you can go back and read up on those um, if you want to check it out. But they're heavier and there is, a, there is a loss there. And I just wanted to show you the weights on that. Now, what I wanted to also just show you is these bikes, okay? So, I've bought a lot of these rim brake bikes in S-Works. So I've got an SL3, an SL4, and an SL5, all rim brake bikes, um, which I've got for next to nothing. Um, and I just wanted to show you this now. Um, Durian Rider does a lot of this sort of stuff and just shows you the bargains you can get. I just wanted to show anyone that's new, there's such a lot of good quality bikes out there that are rim brake, so they're lighter, they're faster aerodynamically, and they're still an S-Works. So they're super light, super stiff, um, you know, and you can pick up some real bargains. So like this SL3 here, um, he's asking $3,100 for it, right? And it's got DI2, it's only a 10 speed, but it's still got DI2, um, rim brake, and it's the top quality in a 54, um, you know, top quality bike, which, you know, if you were to replace it now with an SL7, you're looking at 20 grand, okay? And it's a disc brake. So I just wanted to sort of, show anyone that hasn't looked at rim brakes, which I hadn't, I just took Durian Rider's advice and went and tried some out and I was like, wow, these are wicked. So my crit bike, um, which I race on, is um, an S-Works Venge um, and it's a rim brake. You know, it's in 2014, but it's a super quick bike, super light, and it just hammers. Um, and we ended up winning, I think, five out of the last six crits that we were in on that bike. So I swear by it. Um, there's, you know, some real bargains to be had where you could buy four bikes for the price of what you could get one SL7 for. So I just thought for anyone that's new, um, don't underestimate rim brake. I, I reckon it, it's worth a look and you can get some real sick bargains, which I've, I've done personally as well. So just wanted to show you this one. Then we've got, um, this is an SL3. So I got my dad, the SL3 I've given to dad. Um, now this guy's asking 3,400. Now this looks immaculate. I ended up picking up Dad's one for thirteen hundred bucks um, for an S Works, like you know, top of the line bike, which would have been you know twelve, fifteen grand back in the day. 
um, equivalent, you know? So they're still really good bikes, but just because of rim brake going out of fashion and everyone wants um, disc brake, there's just, no one really wants them as much. And it's just, I reckon it's easy pickings to get a sick race bike um, that feels super stiff. And like when you stomp down at it, it just goes. There's no sort of play. Some of the newer ones, they're just, there's a bit of give and they're not, they're not as responsive. And you notice that when you ride them all. Um, and I think if you want to do yourself a favor and go and ride some, you'll sort of see what I mean. If you haven't ridden any, you, you just don't know. But um, in my experience, they're phenomenal. Um, and like I said before, with, I mean, with my um, Air Road, it's the best frame without a doubt. It's better than the older frames, there's no doubt about that, but it's got disc brakes. So it sort of lets it down a little bit. Why not have a rim brake version with that um, Air Road frame? And it'd be just, you just wouldn't be able to beat the thing. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you that one. Um, and then, yeah, so just searching S-Works there, you can have a look and see um, what's around or, or Trek or what have you. But I'd recommend anyone who hasn't um, checked out rim brakes, especially the new guys who there's a lot of marketing flaff around, you've got to have disc. They serve a purpose for sure, but I definitely recommend, from my limited experience, mind you, I'm not sponsored, I'm not a pro or anything like that, I've only been riding a couple of years, yeah, I'm so glad I found that little hack of these like 15 grand bikes that you can pick up for like three grand. They present as brand new and they're just wicked. Like they blow some of the, you know, endurance bikes and that sort of thing out of the water. And some of the some of the top end, um, you know, disc brake bikes, I'd, I'd still rec reckon that they could um, show them up. If it was the same rider on, on both bikes, uh, they'd probably be faster on some of these older ones, you know. So yeah, I recommend you check it out and uh, hopefully you get something out of it and uh, pick up a bargain for yourself. Well guys, thanks for viewing this video. I hope you got something out of it. I really reckon you should in, like, have a look at a rim brake bike if you've never done it before and pick up an S-Works you know, 2015 or 2017 for you know, two grand, three grand versus having to spend 20 grand on the new one um, with disc brakes because I reckon they'll serve a purpose for you. Still, they, at the time they were the best bike you could buy um, you know, they're, they're high-end bikes, but they just depreciate so much. And I think um, there's some real bargains out there and they're absolutely sick weapons um, that I just think a lot of people, they're so into disc brakes that they just forget about it. And I think there's people there that can really, you know, sort of pick up the scraps and benefit from it. it whether you're racing, I mean, I, you know, like I said, I race with my um, rim brake bike because it's lighter and it's faster. So um, if it's also really cheap, well, that's bonus time for me. So um, look, hope you got something out of it. And until next time, take it easy.